What's up everybody, Zach from Redwood Chronicles here. Uh, Torque Lift Eco Hitch came in for the WRX today, pre-ordered it a couple months ago. Been looking forward to getting here to carry a bike on this thing, so uh, let's get that put on. Alright, so we'll start with opening the box. What's in the box? Nicely packed, protected, it all comes together. So I've had these eco hitches on both the Crosstrek and the Forester before this WRX, so I'm excited to get this on. The quality's always been great, the fit's always been perfect, so let's get after it. All right, well, that all looks pretty cut and dry. Um, pull the bumper off, put the hitch on, mounts up to where the crash bar was, just like the other two cars, so it should be a pretty easy install. And to start out, it's gonna be the clips to get the bumper off. So you'll have a clip there, down here, and underneath the car, you got one here, 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 and then here, here and then it'll be the same all the way across the other side and then we'll wind up pulling these covers off getting the tail lights out and then there should be something behind there that'll let us get in there All right, this is one thing I made sure I was gonna do right, just because I don't want to break a brand new car. But you should just pull these out, and that right there is the screw you want to expose. All right, your next step is gonna be that screw right there on both sides. When I said screw, I meant another pop clip, because Subaru just loves putting these all over their cars. It's a good demonstration of how that tool works, though. All right, next thing. Pry this guy off. I recommend using a pry a little plastic pry tool. Pops right off. Alright, next thing, screw one, screw two, get the tail lights out. Now we're gonna pull the tail light out. Don't be afraid, you gotta gotta pull on it a little bit. That white thing does go in there, but it's not a sketchy plastic clip, so you're good. Then you'll just disconnect. So this little white piece fell out, but it just comes. Try to do this one-handed it just goes right back in there so if that pops out when you're doing yours just pop it back in step rip the bumper off they say to use two people I'm not too concerned about scratches and whatnot just because of the Thing to put my cars through but if you are you probably want to use two people for this just start on one side and pull and work your way around the car I'm trying to do this one hand is kind of difficult it would have made sense to maybe get a chest mount on but let a rip last step we're just going to pull from the middle Here's what you're left with. You can see it's secured all the way across. So just work your way slow. But it comes off pretty easy. Got three bolts. There's going to be one right here that you can access from the bottom. One here. And one here. And those two you're going to need a decent size extension to shoot through these holes. Or you might be able to get a wrench back there, but I'm going to use an extension. Right, so the bolts you take off the car are 14s. The ones that come with the kit are going to be 17s. And then bolt, lock washer, washer in that order.
crash bars off hitch goes on it's really nice to see brew I gave you two bolts make this easier to put on see it just stays there by itself otherwise this would be a two-person job for sure lesson learned pass it on to you guys might seem obvious it wasn't to me put those nuts on first that way it holds the hitch on better I went for the bolts first and it was kind of a pain all right we got it on there Let's pop that out so actually you know what dog beds work great for not sliding your bumper around on the ground look at that next step is to cut the bumper a little bit to make room so we are going to be going two and a quarter inches down and from this line right here and then we're going to go one and a half inches this way cut it diagonally They say to use a reciprocating saw or something. I've had great luck with these in the past. So hopefully they work again. So if you're after a perfectly clean cut and you want it to be perfect, you might want to do something a little bit different than that. But I don't really care because it's on the bottom of the car. It's going to be plugged into the hitch. There's going to be a bike rack on there. If I really feel like it, I could sand it and clean it up. But we're not going to do that. So let's get the bumper back on the car. So I've always found it's easiest to take the bumper off from the sides and put it back together. Start in the middle, make sure it's lined up, and then just work your way around. Again, one-handed. Can't do everything one-handed. So if you're having a hard time getting the uh, bumper back on, it's probably because you have the bumper, I don't know if you can see this plastic thing, when you put the bumper on, it'll want to go on the underneath the bumper. You need the bumper underneath this plastic. These two clips on either side wouldn't go in. So what I'm gonna do, notch across here and across here and see if that lets it go back far enough. Okay, so I notched those two corners out and they are not hitting anymore but now 
if you come under here you can see that now this is hitting so that two and a quarter inch cut isn't going to be long enough for this a shot here I don't know how this is going to go this is the right way is to take the bumper off but I don't feel like doing that something I don't like we're gonna see if we can solve the problem but basically when you put this holder in with that setup on it uh goes in way easier with two hands but because of this nut right there and that bolt this doesn't go in all the way so as you can see it doesn't it doesn't sit flush so if you don't put this whole quick polar offer thing on it goes back in just fine um, which is cool because maybe now I can run a third brake light but that'll be decided another day for now the hitch is on that's all I really care about don't drill your thing don't do it just leave it like this look how easy this is to get in and out this is one handed I'm holding it open you don't need that quick pulley thing. It's a good idea. It'd be cool if it went all the way in, but without it mounting flush, I think that's a no-go. In case you're having a shitty day. If these pups don't cheer you up, I don't know what will. Next step is actually going to be putting quarter-inch drill bit through right there. quarter inch hole I just want to show you guys what I mean by quality craftsmanship when I'm talking about these guys hitches so you have that right well, they made, rather than just having you stick this through, they made this little guy to go in there. Which is just way, way. All right guys, so that wraps it up pretty much. Um, the only things I would change are, like I've discussed already, not drilling the hole through there because it doesn't sit flush and it's still easy to get out and um this notch if you're gonna do it that way i don't know or if their measurements were just off um but that roto zip thing worked and uh i would just that two and a quarter inch I'd take that out to two and three quarter inch and I think you'll have better luck than you won't have to do that that extra cut I did but um, that wraps it up guys we'll take some pictures and have a good day